Hi everyone! Today I've got an important update about Roblox based on an announcement they just made. A few months back I did a whole video letting you know if Roblox was okay for kids. And the results were pretty good. Let's take a look at this announcement and see if it changes whether your kids should use Roblox. Okay, so what's the big announcement? We're going to go through it all, but the gist is the Roblox platform is now going to allow much more mature, not kid-friendly content. Let's get into this article and see what they say. So the title is that Roblox is introducing experiences for people age 17 and older. Our goal has always been to build an immersive platform for communication and connection with safety and civility at its foundation. Marketing nonsense, okay. Roblox is a platform for all ages where no matter how old people are, they can connect with friends and discover a wide range of relevant, engaging, and age-appropriate experiences. So this is an important bit. The reason for all these changes is that the folks over at Roblox have seen how much money they can squeeze out of kids, so now they want to try their luck with the grown-ups. If we click into this link, we get to a whole other article. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it's about their big plan to make Roblox a place where all different ages of people can spend time and spend money, but they don't say that part. They start again with this safety and civility buzzword, and then they use it again down here. Someone in marketing must really like that phrase. Anyway, the article's super long, but one of the interesting tidbits is that they plan to use Roblox as a dating platform in the future. So we can see how their plans are heading in a mature direction. Let's get back to the original article. The fastest growing age group in Roblox is 17 to 24 year olds, and in 2022, 38% of our daily active users were 17 and over. That's interesting. As a natural evolution, we're now allowing creators to make content specifically for this audience. Only those who have verified they're at least 17 will be able to create or consume these experiences. So this is where your parental controls and settings are going to come in. If you don't have your kids' age and content settings set up correctly, they may be able to access this content. Previously, if you didn't have the settings set up right, your kid may just see things meant for 13-year-olds. This new content has the potential to be much worse. We'll get into the details of what's in the content in a bit. Okay, back to reading. Earlier this year, we launched our experience guidelines, which are grounded in child development research and industry standards to help determine if an experience is suitable for them. Until now, we have allowed experiences for the following age groups, all ages, nine and older, 13 and older. Today, we're expanding our guidelines to include ages 17 and older. Yeah, okay, that's basically what I just said. Moving on, age appropriate access. We want Roblox to simulate and even go beyond what's possible in the real world. For example, when a family attends a sporting event, blah, 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 blah. Now creators will be able to offer experiences for those 17 and older that feature more mature themes and storylines like in TV shows or stand-up comedy. These experiences may contain more violence, blood, or crude humor. You can read more about what's permitted here. Yes, let's definitely click here. Okay, let's scroll straight to that 17 and up section. Content only suitable for ages 17 and up may contain intense violence, heavy realistic blood, moderate crude humor, romantic themes, unplayable gambling content, and or the presence of alcohol. So it sounds basically like a rated M for mature video game. Think Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty. The part that actually sticks out to me is those quote romantic themes. Because you saw their online dating idea, and then you add in these romantic themes, and then on top of that you add the new avatars I'm about to tell you about, and it's all adding up to a whole lot of Roblox sex in our future. So what are the new avatars? Let me tell you. So another interesting element to this story is that the timing of this announcement lines up with another big change in the Roblox platform, which is the standard avatars. You guys probably have seen the traditional Roblox block guy. Well, look at these brand new avatars. This new style they've unveiled is significantly more realistic and, dare I say, has the potential to be much sexier. I mean, if people are already having Roblox sex in Brookhaven with block guys, just think of what's going to be going on in those 17 and up rooms with these new underwear wearing people. Lots of Roblox sex. You heard it here first. Okay, there's more to the article, so let me get back to it. Safety. Experiences for people who are 17 and older need to meet our standards for safety and civility. More of the safety and civility, that's getting pretty old. Okay, let's skip to the interesting part, age verification. 
As noted above, you can only create or consume these experiences if you're verified as 17 or older. This requires uploading a selfie and a photo of your government issued ID, an age verification method that goes beyond what many other platforms currently use. With this approach, we're providing greater confidence in people's age and identity. In the future, we may add new age verification methods. So that really is above and beyond, in my opinion. They might get some pushback there, I'm not sure, but that's way more than other games do to prove that you're old enough. To me, this does mean that they expect the content to be extremely mature. Okay, just a couple more sections here. Parental controls and guidance. People have numerous ways to choose which content is suitable for their family. For example, our parental controls provide the ability to restrict children's access to certain experiences. And we're updating our parent and caregiver guide to Roblox to provide safety tips for families. So yeah, this is the main takeaway for parents. If you have the controls set up, your kids shouldn't see any of this. So if you don't know how to set up the controls, go into this link that they give here or watch my other video. All right, then we've got moderation, community standards, monetization. Okay, I think we get the gist. That's enough reading for today. So what does this all mean? Does your kid need to stop playing Roblox? No, I don't think so. It just means, like any big company, Roblox is looking for ways to make even more money. It means that you as a parent need to be aware of what age you've entered for your kid, what level experiences you've allowed them to play, and who you've allowed them to chat with. If you've got all that set up, hopefully this news doesn't change anything. If you don't, or if you're not sure, now's the time to check. Well, I hope this information was helpful. I'll keep you posted if I hear anything new on the topic. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to see more reviews of what games, shows, and more are okay for your kids. See you next time.